Hey folks, pardon the pink hair, I've just returned from the Burning Man Festival. But right now I am sitting next to one of the most extraordinary things in all the world, the General Sherman tree. It's a giant sequoia. It's the largest living tree on the planet. And to be standing here at the base of it is one of the most um, incredible and humbling experiences ever. It's over 2,000 years old. That means that this tree was already hundreds of years old when Jesus was walking around on the planet. This tree was a sapling when Aristotle was alive. Absolutely unbelievable. It drinks thousands of gallons of water every single day. It's incredible. We're in Sequoia National Park in Southern California. Yesterday I introduced you to the largest living tree on planet Earth. Today, I'm introducing you to one of the oldest. This is a bristlecone pine, and we're standing in a grove filled with them. Some of the trees in this grove are almost 5,000 years old. They're the oldest living trees on the planet, and these trees only grow on desert mountaintops in the American Southwest, primarily in Nevada. This one tree sprouted when the Great Pyramids of Egypt were being built. It's that old. And to be able to reach out and touch something that's been around since the dawn of human civilization is absolutely incredible. Another really astounding thing about these trees is that they grow so slowly that their bark is incredibly dense and hard. So after the tree dies, the bark and the wood just stays here for thousands of years. They did core samples on this tree and this tree died a century before Columbus ever set sail to the Americas. So this tree has been standing dead as a doornail, weathering the elements since a century before Europeans colonized this country. I just can't even fathom that. That's just crazy.